Okay. So good evening. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. What about you? Yes, I'm doing well too. Thank you. Uh, so please introduce yourself. Okay, ma'am. First of all, thank you <laughs> very much because uh, you are in front of me. I am feeling very happy because uh, I was desperate to talk to you. <laughs> now I'm very yeah. excited also. <laughs> okay. My name is Ghazala. I born and brought up in UP, Allahabad, UP. And uh, mm -hmm. I have completed my post-graduation in economics from University of Allahabad. And uh, BA from uh, Bundelkhand University. And uh, right now I'm teaching in a school. And uh, if I talk about my family, there are three members in my family, me and my two daughters. And uh, if I talk about my hobby, then I like cooking and listening to music. Especially gazelles. Mm, okay, you That's have an apt me. name, right? You have a very apt name because your name is also something like gazala. Means it. Sorry, what, what is the meaning of your name? It's a nice, very beautiful I name. Can, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> gazala means in Arabic. Gazala means uh, uh, dear, dear one. Dear. Okay. Okay. Yes. Nice, nice. You like listening to gazelles. Yes, ma'am. Jagjit mm -hmm. Singh is my favorite gazelle guy, uh, gazelle singer. Sorry, <laughs> and uh, I like him very much. I, I in my uh, uh, when I point something that, that uh, when I feel uh, tension or uh, feel uh, then that time I used to listen gazelles. Yes, yes, they soothe you, right? They are very peaceful, and the music is very slow. They uh, they make you feel peaceful. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So, do you have a YouTube channel? No, ma'am. Uh, right now, I'm not running any YouTube channel, but uh, I'm planning to create a channel for myself. Uh, because yeah. uh, when uh, one day I was scrolling uh, YouTube, and uh, then I uh, have seen so many channels are there. Uh, means some ladies are there who are running their channel. And uh, they are practicing this language also. So that mm -hmm. time I got uh, an idea that uh, I should also create a channel for myself. And uh, it's a very good source of uh, practice this language as well as <laughs> it's a good source of earning. So I planning that uh, mm -hmm. I should also start a channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, nowadays I'm collecting contents for my channel also. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how old are your daughters? My younger, uh, sorry, my elder daughter is uh, 17 years old. She is in 11th okay. standard and uh, my younger daughter is in 8th standard. She is 14 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. Both are independent girls, right? They are grown ups. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you are also a teacher. How many years of experience have you got? Mm, I have uh, three, uh, four years of experience. Uh, I am teaching uh, for last four years. Okay, so what did you do before that? Sorry, ma'am, you're not audible. Uh, I was asking, what did you do before starting teaching? You just have four years of experience. So what did you do before that? Actually, ma'am, <laughs> I started my journey, journey too late. Actually, some tragedy was there in my, my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, before teaching, uh, before teaching, I was just a homemaker. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I used to be at home and uh, look after the family and uh, look, looked after my children only. But uh, suddenly mm, there was uh, a disaster in my life. Uh, actually, mm, I lost my husband before eight years. And uh, that time, then uh, after some time, uh, I realized that uh, I should do something for my daughters because now, I have to raise them alone and uh, all the responsibilities of them are just on my shoulders only. So I decided that I should uh, start teaching again. Before marriage, I was uh, teaching in I working at all. Mm -hmm. Then after some, after uh, her death, uh, after two years, I started again teaching. Okay. So did you study again after that or were you already qualified? Uh, no, no. Uh, 
before marriage i was uh, completed my post graduation but uh, after marriage i have completed my bed my husband was very nice person and uh, he knew that uh, i want to uh, because uh, just of uh, um, i uh, actually <laughs> i'm sorry ma'am actually <laughs> you're perfectly fine it's okay it's okay okay because my uh, my husband knew that uh, i want to complete my bed and uh, before, just because of because of my marriage uh, i can i was uh, uh, i couldn't uh, complete my bed so uh, he encouraged me that you, you should complete your degree then i completed my bed and now i'm uh, really thankful to him because just because of him i am teaching in a cbsc school mm, okay Wow, <laughs> nice! You're such a strong woman, I would say. Oh, mm. Running the family alone, it is, it is. I can't tell it in words. It is not easy. Yes, ma'am. My journey was so difficult, but uh, very difficult, and I faced mm. so many, uh, many difficulties, and my struggle was very hard. But uh, now, I'm. I overcome. all these yes. problems and now i am feeling very good i am really satisfied that now i am able to do something and i can raise my children alone mm, your struggles have made you a stronger person thank you ma'am you are still audible to me so that's okay so full time you go for work and you like to cook also what is your favorite like you know thing to cook what do your children like most Uh, my children always <laughs> want to, like the chinese dishes like chow mein and the south indian dishes also like dosa idli mm. sambar mm. <laughs> bada sambar <laughs> i always cook all these things because they love to eat south indian dishes and uh, if i am not wrong you are also south indian yes i am from karnataka yes because mm. i have seen so many videos of uh, yours and uh, i come then i came to know that you are a south mm. indian That's yes. why your features are very sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very lucky. It means I'm very lucky. I also want that group. Uh, in that group, uh, females are practicing uh, the English language. But um, then I felt that uh, I'm talking to a learner. Means if okay. I'm making some mistakes, then uh, there is no one is there to correct me. Mm. so uh, for practice it is good uh, but uh, if i am making the mistake then what about it yes. some there will be someone uh, who will uh, who can who should correct me mm. that's why i am uh, finding in some learned person like you that uh, uh, yes. he or she should correct my mistakes mm -hmm. not only about correcting mistakes it is when you at least spend 15 20 minutes talking to a person who is fluent or who is better than you you will definitely learn something even if they do not correct you maybe the sentence structure maybe they must have used some a different vocabulary or their way of speaking there is something you will learn maybe it is very little i would say 15 20 minutes but still every session you you will learn something when you talk to a person who speaks better than you Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so tell me, you had any questions for me? No, ma'am. I just a simple question: What to do to improve myself, to improve my communication skills? Because I feel hesitant in front of anybody. If someone is in front of me and he or she speaks so better English, uh, then that time I feel myself very uh, nervous and I feel uncomfortable because. Uh, uh, that time I, i don't know what to do so please give me some tips to improve my communication skills and to overcome my nervousness also mm. see your your english is good if you are worried about your that your english is not good just take that away from your mind because your english is good you are hesitant because it is human nature when somebody if in front of me if there is a better learned person or there is a native speaker or somebody who is better than me it is natural for me to feel nervous even i will feel nervous when i'm talking to somebody who is better than me so it is a human nature uh, uh, how to overcome it is push yourself into that situation often it will be nervous it will be difficult for you you will feel nervous again but push yourself into that 
in that way only that is the only way in how you can overcome it you know it, sometimes it is difficult even to talk to person who is not as fluent as you if it is your first video call or any video call also if you are starting for the first time then you will feel nervous that is obvious right then you will get used to it if you are if you the same used to if you get with people who speak better than you then even that hesitation will come down but just keep in your mind that you are good i'm quite good it's only i'm feeling nervous i'm feeling hesitant it's not it's not not a big deal i can overcome this so put yourself into the situation talk to as many people as possible only that will help you mm. because it is a human nature it is not that you don't have a complexity that we are not good at it because there are so many people who do not speak good english but still they are so confident they don't mind if i am doing a mistake they don't mind they'll just speak so it is just yeah. confidence yeah you just have to improve on that and uh, <laughs> i i i also want to <laughs> tell you something that uh, i teach english language in my school <laughs> yeah that you have the same attitude because in school you have the students they don't know anything and i'm the teacher i'm going to teach them so you uh, have the same attitude when you're talking to somebody else as well so that will help you stay uh, calm and confident in your conversations you can talk nicely okay is yes, mm -hmm. i feel in front of my students very comfortable very very confident because uh, i know they are not going to catch my mistakes so i feel mm -hmm. myself very confident but in front of any learned person i feel nervous mm -hmm. like you <laughs> no, i'm not catching your mistakes anyway so don't worry <laughs> no i i want that you should catch my mistake and you should correct me because i want my i want to know my mistakes my my shortcomings also mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. If there is any mistake, I'll definitely let you know. But so far, I do not find that grammatically you are talking something wrong. Here and there, a little pronunciation mistakes are there, but nothing grammatical or nothing that I have to stop you and correct you about it. You are doing good. Okay, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> very. Uh, today I am feeling very good because uh, you are in front of me and you are talking so politely. Your voice is so sweet. and uh, you mm -hmm. are giving me so nice tips uh, to improve myself uh, and mm -hmm. uh, really it will it will really help helpful for me i think mm -hmm. yes yes you are a post graduate right i am just an engineer so you have so much of experience teaching so i am very new to teaching it's only 6 to 7 months that i have been training for spoken english so you are much more experienced than me <laughs> maybe <laughs> that you are, you are not uh, like you know used to video calls that's it Yes, you are right. You are used to video calls, and I am not. Uh, but uh, I can feel at a time, fifty to sixty students at a time. <laughs> mm -hmm. See that even if if you put me in that situation, I will be nervous. I cannot handle a group of even ten people. But you are teaching fifty, sixty students. It's it's all about you know game of getting used to things, right? Once you you when you are in a situation that you feel that uh, the sky is fallen on you. you feel that you are so disappointed and the, the like everybody goes through those phases in their life right when they are so disappointed that my life has stopped it can't go ahead but then you you can remember all these things that what you are capable of doing unless you do you will never know what you are capable of doing mm. <laughs> do you want to suggest me something something else yeah i want to suggest you to keep talking to people every day it's not um, it's not only about english right it is all about getting to know people and interacting and learning about other people also that will give you a different kind of confidence there are so many people going through so much more in their lives so it is just about exchanging thoughts do not focus just on improving english it's about communication it's about talking to people and communication is not equal to english that is different and communication is different you need to be a good communicator you need to listen to people you need to talk to people your knowledge will improve on that and it is also fun way right you meet people from different parts of the world or different parts of india you are connecting it is somewhat magical you find a kind of bonding with a stranger randomly when you talk to them so it is important for us especially like women who are uh, in the house it is nice actually to communicate connect with people and talk it is also improving your english improving your communication skills getting to know about people and gaining knowledge from them 
it's not only learning about English, but their life stories, their knowledge. Every person will contribute in one way or the other. Yes, you're right. All the time I uh, thought, uh, all the time I think about the English only. So mm -hmm. when I uh, talk to people, I talk about English only. Then you're correct that I should talk uh, on different topics. Yes, yes. That way talking about different topics will in increase your knowledge and it will give you open doors to it will open doors to new vocabulary. When you're talking about different topics, different words are used on the, in different topics, right? So that way you will get used to uh, different types of vocabulary and slowly you will learn to use them in your speech as well. That will widen your uh, vocabulary and your dictionary and your way of speaking. Everything will improve. Yes, ma'am, you're right. Thanks a lot, ma'am. <laughs> You're such a nice person. <laughs> and today, I I learned so many things. That that uh, you are correct. Uh, I should not uh, th uh, think about on English only. I should uh, think about the uh, um, uh, my knowledge improvement, my uh, personality also. So I mm. should talk on different topics so that uh, and uh, it will work on both my personality as well as on my English improvement. Correct, correct. Because you are talking in English only, right? So you are having an English practice. But other than that, also there are you. You need to improve on a whole, do your whole personality, how you speak, how the way you communicate. Everything will improve. But now we have a wonderful thing, right? Like video calls, you have access. Everybody has access to the internet, so why not? Ma'am, I want to ask something. You are an you were an engineer, um, but now you are a teacher. So why <laughs> you changed your field? Yeah, I was an engineer before getting married. So around 10 years ago. So for 10 years, I did not do anything. I was just a homemaker expanding the family and taking care of the family. For 10 years, I, I did only that. So now finally, my children are like, uh, they are going to school and finally during the day, I have some time. Otherwise, it will become chaotic when you have a toddler at home disturbing you all the time. So you are not able to give focus to your career, nor the child. So I was completely focused in their lives so far. So now it is finally I have some time, at least two or three hours in the day. So in which I can do something productive for myself and I won't have that guilty feeling that in spite of having knowledge, in spite of studying, uh, working hard all your life, still you're not doing anything. There is a thing of you being financially independent as well because you don't yeah. want to ask somebody something all the time, right? It's not that they they give me even without asking, but I want to have something for myself, of myself, which I have gained through my work. So then I thought at least two or three years, let's be productive. Let's do something. So then I became a tutor on a platform. From there, I got an idea that I can have a channel of my own and do conversations so people can approach me directly. So that is how I started a YouTube channel. So it's been four months now. It's going good. Okay, but uh, your channel is doing very good. <laughs> yeah, it is OK. It depends on whom you're comparing to, right? Because there are so many people who are doing better than me as well. But for me, for the amount of work I am doing, it is still OK. I do not have enough time actually to do more for my channel or concentrate completely on my channel. So whatever possible from my side, I'm doing. So, so far it is good. No complaints. Okay. So ma'am, uh, I should start my channel or not? I think you should. If you are interested in uh, conversating with people and uploading content, if you like it, I think you should. There is no, there's no issue with that, but you just have to be consistent. It's not like this week you uploaded one conversation and you are gone for 15, 20 days. So that is that we, you won't be able to grow on your channel that way. At least weekly, if you set a, a goal that you are going to upload two videos in a week, that is OK. But do it two videos every week. Keep that goal in your mind and work accordingly. Then, you know, what? one advantage of starting YouTube is people can reach out to you for conversations. Mm -hmm. so that way people will know you. They will know how to contact you. They will know that you will respond and talk to them. So that is one advantage of having YouTube. And if you like interacting with people, it is a very good platform. Yes, ma'am, I like and it's my need also. Mm -hmm. mm. I think you should. It is a side hustle which you can do. Like after coming back from school, maybe 20 minute session you can have with somebody. And weekly at least two days you can try doing that if it is not very hectic for you. No, ma'am, I can manage it uh, mm -hmm. for 20 or 
minutes, I can manage it. Yeah, and, so uh, I think you can do it. Mm. At least two weekly, two or three days, you can start uploading. Then you see how you go, how you are able to manage it, work accordingly. Mm. So, okay, any questions? Your audio is gone. Okay, no, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. There is now no... I can hear you. Now I can okay. hear you. <laughs> okay. No, ma'am, no more questions. And uh, it was really a nice session. And uh, I would like to connect with you again. Yeah. If you allow me. Yes, yes. Yeah. According to availability, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Nice talking to you. Same here, ma'am. Same here. <laughs> All the best. I hope you do well. Thank you. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.